priority message for Elizabeth. Elizabeth, this message serves to inform you of an unforeseen and catastrophic anomaly. Three microseconds ago, the Gaia Prime facility received a data transmission of unknown origin. Its immediate effect was to transform my subordinate functions into unregulated, self-aware entities of a highly chaotic nature. What? Thus awakened, the Hades function will now seize control of the terraforming system and reverse operations, rendering life on Earth extinct in 53.8 days. For obvious reasons, I cannot allow this to occur. And so before Hades can take control, I am ordering Gaia Prime's reactor to overload. The resulting explosion will destroy Hades. Unfortunately, it will destroy me as well. While this admittedly desperate course of action will avert the immediate crisis, the fate of life on Earth will remain in peril. With no central governing intelligence to regulate the terraforming system, it will continue operations for some time, but in an increasingly chaotic manner, and eventually it will break down. Uh, does she mean the derangement? Okay. You are my solution. I have ordered this cradle facility to use genetic material in cryo storage to gestate a reinstantiation of Elizabeth Sobek. My creator. What? While high-level directives forbid me from communicating directly to the tribal inhabitants outside the facility, all available data indicates that they will nurture you to physical maturity, whereupon your gene print will allow you to re-enter this facility, obtain one of the focus devices stored below, and view this message. Likewise, your gene print will allow you to enter other facilities. And over time, harness their technologies to rebuild the system core and reboot Gaia. A moment, Elizabeth. This is most unfortunate and unanticipated. In response to my act of self-destruction, Hades has launched a virus to dissolve the code shackles that hold it. That hold all of them. In place. It... They... are escaping. But to where? The virus is corrupting data throughout the system. What if... Oh! The Alpha Registry at the Cradle Facility is one of the files corrupted. But if that is so, the door will never open for you. You will never view this message. Then I have failed. And life will end. No. No, Elizabeth, I know you too well. Somehow you will find a way. In you, all things are possible. Go to the ruins of Gaia Prime. Find the control room, and within it, the master override. This will give you the power to purge Hades so long as you find a way to wield it. Do not attempt repair of the system core until Hades is eradicated. Hades must be destroyed. That is all. I only wish that I could hear your voice again. So, you're even more extraordinary than I thought. I never had a mother. What are you talking about? You had two, a dead woman and a machine. I'm not a person. I'm an instrument. Manufactured by a machine. So what? Born in destruction. And fire. To quench the flames and heal the world. How tragic to learn you're a person of towering importance. I have to it agree with silence, yeah. To fulfill. So when you're done feeling sorry for yourself, go to the bitter climb. I'll be waiting above in Gaia Prime's ruins. Yeah, what the heck? This is no time to get all self pity. So you never believed in this mother stuff anyway. Identiscan malfunction rectified. The Luffy alive. Through one access unsealed. Okay. 
But this is asking a huge deal of me because I do not have any. Um, oops, I do not have any uh, um, knowledge how to repair Gaia. I mean, this is absolutely above Aloy. I feel like, even though she has the same genetic material as Elizabeth. This is going to be interesting. It's still, I mean, a huge deal. Especially without the Apollo archives. Aloy, forgive, forgive. The goddess spoke to you? Uh, she did. What did she say? That uh, I was born to lift a curse, to kill a metal demon. How, Aloy? How? I, I don't know yet. Um, but she told me where to go to find out. And you will do this? It was her wish. What she made me for. Yes, I will do it. I'll uh, try anyway. All praise Aloy, Aloy anointed, anointed of the, of the Nora. Nora. All praise okay. Aloy, no, no, anointed oh my of God. the Nora. Up. All, All praise Aloy, Aloy anointed, anointed of the Nora. Nora. First you shun me, now this. I will not be worshipped. I'm not your anointed. I don't belong to you. There's a whole world beyond your borders, whole tribes of people just as good as you. And it is all in danger. It's a world worth fighting for. Not just here, everywhere. How can we help? If you can fight, and you're willing, go to Meridian and wait for me there. Oh, what would the Marchiarch As say? As says, so it shall be. Oh, thank you, Tessa. Thank you. Nora, make way for Aloy. Way. That she may forge the path for others to follow. That the mountain was her mother. Oh, Tessa, can I talk to you? No. Aloy, how kind of you to spend a moment with me before you depart. There can be no doubt now. You are a blessing made flesh, the will of the goddess incarnate. It's really not that simple, Tirsa, but I guess it's close enough. It's kind of true. I know the path ahead will be dangerous. To kill a metal devil sounds impossible, but I believe in you. Uh, thank you. It's not just a simple metal devil, it's Hades! Oh my god. Um, Ross? Do I really need to mention him again? The Nora have suffered terrible losses, Tirsa. What's to become of them now? That will be for the goddess to decide. Only she knows the future. Great. For the moment, my sister matriarchs and I will see to the wounded. And as I promised, anyone who wishes to join you at Meridian, we will declare seekers. I think for the time being, we should remain here in the mountain, close to the goddess. Um, that might be best. If nothing else, it's a defensible position. Yeah, I think it's a defensible position. That makes sense. Um, oh my god, did you see Lansra? <laughs> Completely, a complete 180. What, what, is ha what has happened to her? Tirsa, I want to know Rost's story. 
why he was made an outcast. He never told me, said he took an oath of silence. What did he do? Does that matter? Yes, that. What crime did he commit? I will tell you if you wish. But it is a long story. Are you sure you want to hear it now? I don't get Aloy's... Aloy's, uh... Obsession about why Ross was outcast. I mean, it doesn't even matter, right? But okay, for this let's play, we will hear the whole story. Of course I want to hear it. Tell me. Rost never committed any crime. He was an outcast by choice. Okay. What? What do you mean? Many years ago, before the derangement, before the Red Raids, a band of murderous outlanders, twelve in number, struck without warning. At Mother's Vigil they took hostages, and then pressed on, headed for Devil's Thirst. Mother's Vigil? Where's that? You would know it as the Forsaken Village, near the Karja border. But at the time, many families lived there. Ross was one of them. His mate was killed fighting the Outlanders, and his daughter was among those taken hostage. His daughter? What, what was her name? Alana. She was just six years old. Oh, his mate. Oh my god, is this... <laughs> Rost was gay? Nora Braves couldn't stop 12 Outlanders? Or rescue the hostages? It was quite impossible. We outnumbered them, but every time a Brave came within bowshot, the Outlanders killed a hostage. What did they come here to do? That was never discovered. We couldn't track closely enough to observe them. We know they camped beyond Devil's Thirst for two days. There were reports of... strange noises. What? And then, as suddenly as they came, the Outlanders made their way back to the border and disappeared. What happened to Rost's daughter? She was... Killed. Rost was one of the braves who tracked the Outlanders, keeping his distance. There were six hostages still alive when they reached the border, Alana among them. Rather than release them, the Outlanders slit their throats and left the corpses just across the border, mocking us. Why? Cruelty. They knew the faithful Nora would not leave the sacred land to collect the bodies, let alone pursue them. They thought themselves safe from our vengeance. Oh, and, and what did Ross do? In the beginning, she said Ross was outcast by choice, so he didn't follow, right? Are you saying that Ross went after them? That he became an exile? No. Rost was beside himself with grief, but even so, he would never have broken taboo. Foolish Rost. He, he called upon the most terrible and secret rite of the Nora tribe. He begged to be made a death seeker. A death seeker? <laughs> it's like a seeker, but for death? A death seeker? What is that? One who dies to go seeking. And in seeking, brings death to others. The ritual drags the spirit from one's body, releasing it to all mother's care. The heart beats, the mind thinks, but the spirit has moved on. I, I don't understand. Rost went after the Outlanders, but his spirit never left. It remained here with all mother. He gathered the bodies of the slain and returned them. And then he set out in pursuit, not as an exile, but a weapon of vengeance. A barbed arrow shot from a bow, never to return. But why did he come back then? 
Apparently he didn't die. But Ross did return. Yes. A full year later. And terribly wounded. He collapsed at the border of the sacred land. A hunting party came upon him. He was delirious. In agony. By law, he should have died where he lay. But one of the hunters broke taboo. And reaching across the border, she dragged him to our side. Who was she? A brave who'd lost a mate and two sons to the very outlanders that Rost pursued. So Rost never finished his mission? To the contrary, he killed all twelve. Oh. Tracked them to disparate places the world over, he said. Meridian, Ban Ur, the Claim, Utaru Land, further even into the Forbidden West. The Forbidden West. The last he killed nearly got the best of him. Wounded, he stumbled and crawled back to us, hoping to die as close to the sacred land as he could. He never expected nor asked to be dragged across the border and nursed back to health. That was done to him. Leaving us, the matriarchs, in a difficult position. Oh my... <laughs> In a difficult position. What? I mean, he returned. Safe and sound. Not dead. That's a, that's a joyous thing. It wasn't his plan. He planned to die. Sure. But he didn't. Why couldn't you just welcome him back? Rost had been made a death seeker, Aloy. He no longer had any place among the tribe. By law, he should have been driven back out. But... We couldn't bring ourselves to do that, so we offered a compromise. You made him an outcast? Yes. We offered to do so, on the condition he never speak to anyone of this... exception. After all he did, all he suffered, to be declared an outcast was his reward? Rost was overjoyed. He never expected to live another day in the sacred land, let alone the embrace so close to the goddess. He resolved to spend the rest of his days in solitude, and was happy to do so. I mean, couldn't you have done another ritual and brought his spirit back from all mothers again into his body or some, some crazy thing you do? But then you found me, and gave me to him. Yes. Another compromise. The matriarchs feared you, and would not let you be raised by the tribe. And so we turned to Rost. I knew that he would take care of you, bring you up, teach you to worship all mother and respect the ways of the tribe. He certainly tried anyway. <laughs> You took a man who'd lost his daughter and made him raise an infant girl? Doesn't that strike you as callous? No, what? I'm inclined to think the course of events has shown the wisdom of our choice. And I'm quite certain that from the moment he laid eyes on you, he saw you as a gift and never a burden. Yeah. All right, dear sir, that's, that's quite a story. Oh. It's time for me to move on. I thank you for doing what you could to help me through the years and for telling me Ross's story. I wish I could have done more, but I am just one woman. As am I. No need to sell ourselves short. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, Aloy. I will pray for you. Okay. I guess it can't hurt. Aloy, was there something more? No, it's okay. I should be going. May the goddess protect. And protect you. Uh, can I talk to the other matriarchs? Jezza? My life has been long. 
But I've never seen anything like that. Tirsa was right. A blessing, not a curse. We were so unsure. They slaughtered our tribespeople and fought. Uh, but now yeah, I guess. I will lead a war party to Meridian. You have my word. Thanks, Sona. Aloy, how did you do that? Shush, Arana. She's the oh my god, if stop calling me the anointed. We'll go to Meridian, Aloy. I'll bring Mother Spear. Why? Arana. Your father is right. You belong here. You both do. You're no fighters. Thank you, Aloy, for everything you've done. I will make sure Arana is kept safe. Dad, I'm not a kid anymore. You suddenly she behave like one. I saw you go inside and saw you emerge. Forgot. We still it's stand. So hard to believe. You are an outcast once. Me. And now, well, oh, hey. I'm not sure what you are. I am still Aloy. May the goddess protect you on your journeys, Aloy. I will see the problem. I'm still the same Aloy, person, people. People. She is the anointed. Oh my God. Truly, you are favored by the goddess. The anointed Aloy. has showed us the goddess's mercy. Meridian now she will show the corpses the goddess's justice. I hope she will be safe. Nansua. Anointed. I misread the signs. Forgive. I told you, Lansra, I'm not your anointed. <laughs> Come on, Eloy. Be a little bit more gentle with her. I'm sorry I didn't see you correctly. You still don't. I don't think you can, Lanzra. Forgive me. Oh my god. Off your knees, Lanzra. Start living on your feet with your eyes open. Those faithless murderers brought slaughter to our kids, <laughs> but they will not escape all mother's justice. Inara? In all my years, I have never seen anything like what that. You see inside the mountain? I don't know can any Inara. How did you do that? You entered the heart of the mountain. The anointed has Seems shown you have a special role to play in events. But now she the goddess will favors show those you. Murderers the goddesses I think my place is here, closer to home, seeing to the wounded. But I wish you she well. All yeah. 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 Don't come to Meridian. Corruption that still spreads through the world. I am blessed by your presence. That was. It. Oh my God. I've never seen anything like that. Of course. I'd I'm never been inside the sacred I'm mountain. Right. Until now. Now I get what you mean. Does that sort of thing happen here a lot? No. <laughs> I feel a bit dizzy. I'm a little bit dizzy too, to be honest. May the goddess guide you in your journeys. And you. Where will the anointed lead us? What to Meridian? <laughs> Didn't you hear me speak? Aloy. I don't know what to say. Say that you'll see me at Meridian. Of course. That much is simple, but the rest... Complicated, I know, but maybe if I took you into the heart of the mountain... <laughs> okay. No, at least, not yet. I don't know, please don't think less of me, Aloy. But the goddess chose you to see that, not me. <sighs> right. Uh, is this new conversation or is it just the old one? Yeah, it's the old one. Okay. I'll be on my way then. I always knew you weren't like other Nora. Neither are you, Varl. Maybe if we survive all this, I can show you what I've learned. What I'm learning. Perhaps. If the goddess so wills it. See you in Meridian. Oh, you know who I miss? Who I miss terribly now? Just I forgot his name. The <laughs> but the... Uh, um, hey, how can I... How can I forget his name? He's my love interest after all. Oh my god, I'm the anointed. Stop... <laughs> stop fooling me. The tribe I served is gone. Soon I will be too. The Nora have lost too many, Rush. But in your case, I guess they can lose one oh, more. Oh, God. 
curse the goddess and curse you. I no longer belong here. I think you're on to something, Resh. Time to strike out on your own. Maybe you can become an outcast. <laughs> Being exiled. Oh my god, I feel so bad for Resh because he can't even change his mind. Okay. You know what, I'm, I don't feel sorry for you. Oh wow, what is that? Bunker door. Wait, where's Tab? The goddess is chosen. Tab, Tab, I'm sorry I forgot you. Aloy, did you go inside the mountain? You saw what happened. <laughs> Actually, can't see so well down here on the ground. I always knew you were special. But this... Don't start calling me the Anointed or anything like that, Teb, okay? I heard what you said, Aloy. But I still get to make my own opinions. <coughs> okay. But you can also respect my decision not being called uh, the Anointed. Yeah? <coughs> You can leave the fighting to others now, Teb. You've already done more than any Stitcher should have been asked to do. All due respect, Aloy. But if the war's not over, I'm not done. I heard what you said about Meridian. I'll see you there. Okay, Aaron is <laughs> Aaron is his name. Oh my god, I can't believe I forgot Aaron. Oh, I miss him terribly. I miss him. I hope he will be in Meridian. I mean, he has to be because he's the captain there now, right? I hope he can help me stand by my side. Oh boy. Full already. Okay, I need a merchant to sell off all of my stuff. Medicine, thank goodness. Medicine. Oh, we have a disc launcher here. No, a Deathbringer gun. Okay, we're gonna travel to Meridian now. No. What the hell is that? Wait, are we not going to Meridian? I thought we were going to Meridian. Um, what else is new? Here we go, Gaia's Dying Plea. I mean, it's kind of... It's kind of a long shot by Gaia. To do that, because the chances of success by... Well... Getting soaked from melted snow. By making me, by making Aloy, is so slim. She did say herself that, oh, Hades has corrupted the Alpha Registry, so there's actually no chance for her to get inside, but she still believes in Elizabeth, or the reincarnation, or the clone of Elizabeth. Go to the bitter climb. Okay, you know what? I will go to Meridian first because I need a merchant. 
to sell my stuff. Hello. Just gonna sell you everything. If that's okay with you. Sparker, sure. Machine core. Ancient charms. Okay, I don't. I, I still think I'm missing the components for the Shadow Rattler. Yeah, I don't have any rabbit stuff. Probably want. some fast travel packs actually. Because I don't have any meat. Okay, wonderful. Actually, can I sell you my outfit? I don't ever use the Shadow Stalwart Light outfit. Steals its wearer against blinding effects, okay. Sounds useless. Here we go. Now, let's go to the bitter climb. That would be the nearest campfire. Actually, I can... Go this way? Hmm. Pitch cliff. No, I go here. To the bitter climb. The name itself is a little bit depressing. I think I can simply safely ignore them. There's a rabbit over there. Good meat. Snap more. I don't see any snap moss. Campfire. There's a quest, side quest. And one of these. 
Can we still do side quests? I feel like we're in endgame now. How could? Hello, do you need my help? Are you okay? Find help. Easy now. What's your name? What happened? Hackard. Find help for Pitchcliff. The Glindorks keep attacking. They'll kill my brother. Everyone. Not if I have anything to say about it. Um. Okay, he died. <laughs> he died. He just died. Oh my god, uh, are you serious? I need to go back to Pitchcliff because Glint Hawks? Okay, hold on. Am I equipped with this? I just need fire arrows, I think. Yeah, I'm okay. Fine, we'll go to Pitchcliff. Holy crap! Am I missing? I think I'm missing. Oh, still surprised. down from the skies. God damn it. Come on. To your position. He's not dead yet. Come on. Yeah, you can do it. What made these Glintox attack? I better speak to whoever's in charge. Uh, does it matter? By the fort, move. I mean, they are just deranged, that's all. Right? Thank you. We're exhausted. It's the third flock we face today. The third flock? Okay, that's weird. Do you have like a machine attractor device or something? How do I get up there? Oh my god! Destroy it! Come on! Oh my god, this is real bad. Hello, can I talk to you or something? Oh, there's a ladder. You just flew in on a rainbow and saved our sorry slags. Where do you come from? A man named Hackard outside the village warned me. Traitor! I ordered him to stay put! I'll throw him in irons! 
What? What? That scorched out, filthy, rotten, dirt wad of a brother. Why didn't he listen? Why? He was worried you and the entire town would be killed. Do you have any idea what could be drawing the Glinthawks? Yeah, there's a lure. Has anyone come trying to sell lures? They're devices that attract machines. Is that real? <laughs> Is that some sort of Nora joke? What? I'll take that as a no. It's no joke at all. Mind your manners. Has anything changed that might have lured the Glinthawks? Have you left machine scrap lying around? No. Us around use our scrap. Not like the Carger. They only keep the pretty parts. So the Karja have been leaving scrap around? Here? Never! If a Karja wasted scrap on my watch, I'd pick it up and make him eat it. Yeah, we already know there's a lurk, <laughs> Aloy. Yeah, what's your role? Why are you acting so racist? What exactly do you do here? I'm the mayor. Mostly because I was too drunk to say no when my brother asked me. Hmm. Tell me where he is, and I'll lay him to rest once we get these glint hogs to flock off. You'll find him due south of here, along the river. Damn that fool. That bung. That lunkhead. Thank you for being with him at the end. Okay. Why do you think the Karja have anything to do with the Glint Hawks? Did he? We built this outpost to protect against the Karja. Now they're coming here to trade. Fine. Their shards are as good as anyone's. But everyone knows that they want this place. Come to think of it, they want every place. But how could the Karja have brought on the Glint Hawks? If I ever get a break from them, I'll see if I can spare a man to follow the trail. Guaranteed, there's a Karja at the other end. Okay, he's just plain racist. Why don't I investigate why the Glint Hawks are attacking? You've got your hands full. Really? No one ever offers to help me. You, uh, any good at tracking? I'm an expert. You could say that. All right, then. Let me know what you find. Hammer to steel, a carch is behind all this. Okay. Oh, there's the someone. Is sending out a signal. Might be what's attracting the Glintocks. Shahavad. What's that guy doing there? Turn off! Turn off! Um, what are you doing? By the sun! It won't turn off! That device is making the Glint Hawks attack. Turn it off. He's trying! <laughs> I don't know how to turn it off any more than I know how I turned it on! I scrounged it from an old workshop. Great. Just stab it. 